I just found an amazing way to get these eggs, farm fresh eggs, to last for over 20 years on the shelf, and it doesn't even involve canning. Check it out. You know, I love preserving eggs uh, this time of year when we're getting so many of them for winter when the chickens aren't laying very well. And there's a lot of great way to preserve eggs, but none of them are really good for long-term storage. You can freeze eggs in the freezer, but honestly, after a few months, the texture starts to get a little funny. And, you know, by the time you get to a year, they're just not very good. You can save your eggs in lime, which I love to do. It's probably one of my favorite methods. And you can check out a video on that right here. But they're really only good for a season because the eggs are still slowly aging. Now, you can also dehydrate your eggs, but there's a lot of safety concerns with that because the dehydrating doesn't actually kill off all of the pathogens. So, this method that I'm going to show you is so exciting because it actually makes eggs really easy to preserve for long-term storage, as in 20 plus years on the shelf. You are gonna be amazed at how easy this is. All I do is crack 12 eggs into a nice size mixing bowl. Now I'm gonna beat these thoroughly. You can also use a blender or immersion blender. Pour them onto the trays, and then I'm going to stick them in the freezer for about two hours. And then I'm going to take the frozen trays and pop them into this machine, turn it on, and let it work for a few hours. After 24 hours, I end up with a product that can sit on my shelf for years. Look at this. It is just an egg powder. So what is this amazing machine? Well, it's the Harvest Right freeze dryer. You know, a lot of you guys have asked me about freeze drying. So when Harvest Right reached out and offered to send us one in order to try it out, I got really excited because it's just another preservation method that a lot of people are getting interested in. And I've got to say, I am really excited about this now that I've used it. You know, I'm not gonna stop doing things like canning or dehydrating foods, and I'm certainly gonna not stop fermenting foods, but I think adding the freeze dryer to my collection of preservation methods is gonna give us a lot of really, really neat options, especially for long-term storage because freeze-dried foods aren't supposed to lose their nutritional value for up to 25 years sitting on a shelf. And for those hard to preserve other foods like eggs or milk or whole meals. I'm really excited for the freeze dryer because of its ability to do things like backpacking meals and uh, things for hiking, camping, or just quick convenience foods because you can freeze dry complete meals and then just rehydrate them with a little bit of water. Okay, so that's all great, but now that I've got an egg powder, how do I use it and how does it taste? Rehydrating the eggs is actually really easy. You just take about two tablespoons of egg powder and two tablespoons of water per egg and mix them together and let them sit for a moment. I'm gonna do about two eggs worth. So I'm doing a quarter cup of egg powder and a quarter cup of water. Wow, you can see that rehydrates right away. Just swirl it up. I'm gonna give it a minute or two to uh, just rehydrate all the way. And then I'm gonna cook up some eggs right next to some fresh eggs. I'm gonna have Josh test them and see what he thinks. All right, I have two fresh eggs here and I have these freeze dried eggs. Let me pour this out into here so you can see the texture. They look almost exactly like um, real fresh eggs, you know, in the texture. They are a little darker. So I wonder if I got a little more yolk in this. Um, but texture wise, they're very, very similar. I mean, that just looks like normal 
raw egg. Okay, I'm gonna get them in a pan and cook them up. Okay, freeze dried eggs going on the left. And fresh eggs are go whoop, gonna go on the right. Okay, so why we're frying up these eggs real fast, let's talk about the obvious downsides to freeze drying. One is the cost. The machines are expensive. They cost a lot to get started. The other is the energy consumption that it uses for, um, for actually freeze drying the foods. It actually uses a bit of energy. And I think the third thing that I found that I would say is kind of a downside to freeze drying would be the time that it takes for the processing because each batch takes somewhere around 24 to 36 hours. So aside from that though, I love the fact that it's such a long-term storage method. Okay, let's get these on a plate. Now remember, left is the freeze dried. <laughs> okay, before Josh comes down, I kept the freeze dried eggs on the left, they're over here, and the regular fresh eggs are right here. All right, so one of these is freeze dried, and one of these is fresh eggs. Wow. Do you know which is which? Just just for, you know, keeping you honest. I w No, I don't know which one is which. Okay. I have no idea as far as having seen what you've done. Okay. You tackled this yourself. <laughs> I, I could make a guess, but I do not know. Okay. From looking at this, which would you guess is the freeze-dried eggs without tasting them? I think I would have to guess that one. That that's a freeze-dried eggs. That would eggs. be my guess. Okay. Okay. I don't have any salt and pepper or anything on here just so you could really taste the eggs and not cover it up with pepper, but now you have to taste them and see which well, one. Well, what about them? Are you guys guessing? What do you think? <laughs> they know. Okay. They, they know they which are, one it is. Know. They wow. know. They're testing I'm alone you. I'm here. Yeah. You... <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, I'm going to try this one first. No salt and pepper. Oh, I think I had it wrong, but we'll see. I wish they like regular eggs. Okay. No water or anything to clear the palate? Aren't you <laughs> supposed to do that kind of thing? Wow. That is pretty good. Um, you're serious? One of these are one of these freeze dried? Is, yeah. Wow. Okay. Well, I'm going to reverse my story. I think those are the freeze dried now. Okay. Which kind of makes sense. Maybe the color got brought out. So I, I would guess those are the freeze dried. Okay. Why do you guess that? Is there a flavor difference? There's a little flavor difference. It's not much. That's really impressive. Okay. So um, if you were just having this by yourself, would you think, oh, um, those are freeze dried eggs? No, especially with a little salt and pepper on it. Like yeah. somebody put salt and pepper on it. Uh huh. You know, they're, they're, yeah, they're just a little blander. Okay. Is what I would say. All right. But not by a large degree. And the texture is, I mean, Gosh, it's great. Okay, well, you got it right. These are the freeze dried eggs. Okay. So there you have Very it, cool. you guys. So would you be happy with that for breakfast? Absolutely. I'm I'm highly impressed. You know, you may have these for breakfast in 20 years. Well, hey, if we need <laughs> that, you know, that's good. That's good. We want to keep the pantry stocked. So there um, you have it, you guys. I, I, Eggs that you can put on your shelf for 20 years. I think we'll eat them up before then because that's really good. Okay. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if you want to know other things you can do with all those farm fresh eggs you're getting right now, check out this video right here.